Before we start today's video, I'm going to share with you this month's picks from Dacier. This is a fragrance brand I've been talking to you guys about for like a year now. And they are absolutely awesome. What they do, once again, is take big name and often very overpriced fragrances and they replicate them and then sell them for a more reasonable price. And they are so close to the original, it's oftentimes hard to even notice the difference. This month, I picked up a couple new ones. I got the Aromatic Watermelon, which is inspired by the Polo Blue EDT from Ralph Lauren and the Aquatic Lime, which is inspired by the Aqua Di Gio EDT from Giorgio Armani. And to be honest, both are actually a little strong for my taste. I actually got them to give out as gifts though for some family members, which is a point I continue to make every time I discuss this awesome brand. These make incredible gifts. I mean, I really think you can find something for pretty much anyone, including yourself. I mean, sometimes you gotta gift yourself something nice. Remember too, at the Dossier Shop, they've got a new payment method that lets you earn store credit as well. All you gotta do is select catch at the last step of checkout and they will award you with 10% store credit on every order if you choose catch at checkout. You can find a link to the dossier shop in the description below. I highly recommend you check them out if you're interested. Now though, on to today's episode. Let's go. So the salon guy has re-released, revamped, reformulated the 25 spray. And I think it's perfectly natural that some of you guys are wondering what the changes are. This is a fan favorite. This is what I'm constantly asked about. So I think it's fair to ask those questions. How's it changed? What's up with the new one? I mean, does it work well? Does it not work well? What's the deal with it? Of course, I have tested it all out. And today I'm going to give you guys my full review of the updated 25 spray. We're going to try to do it in five minutes or less. Maybe we'll see how it goes. Get set, buckle up. Here we go. The Salon Guy 25 spray, named for its 25 benefits, has been reformulated and updated. And the biggest change that I am seeing here is that it's been transferred from a lab-made product to a handmade product now made by the amazing folks at Flagship Pomade, who I work with for my manufacturing as well. So I can tell you they are awesome at what they do. The goals I'm told for the revamp included keeping the same end result and end goals while also cleaning up the formula and removing anything that didn't need to be in there ingredient-wise. And the end result that at least what I'm seeing here by all appearances it looks almost identical you can see here on the right is the old 25 spray and then on the left you got the revamped handmade version so you can see for yourself it's very it's at least very close by all appearances if not pretty identical. Looking at the bottle too up close and the ingredients list, you can see that they did trim a lot of dead weight off that ingredient list. You can see uh, again the old one on the right and the new one on the left. You can see there's quite a bit taken off there but there's still a lot of great stuff present like argan oil, grapeseed oil, hydrolyzed wheat protein, all kinds of awesome stuff. The scent I can tell you has changed a bit but it's awesome honestly. It's a cologne scent now very much in line from what we've seen from flagship in the past and it smells fantastic so that was good to see because 25 honestly honestly had a killer scent previously, so I would have really been annoyed to see them just completely botch the scent on this one. Now, before we use it real quick, I do want to highlight one of the biggest differences I have seen with the two products, the old and the new, which is the actual spraying. So the old one sprayed pretty much like a mist, even though it had you know, a thicker appearance in the jar, it's still sprayed nice and fine. The new one does have a bit of a jet to it. It comes out kind of a, in a straight line. So the way that I found that makes it super easy is to just kind of spray it into your hand like this, just spray it right into your hand, move it around, and then apply it straight to the hair, which I am going to show you right now. This is how I always have used 25 spray. I did not change with the new formula. There's many different ways you can use this product. So th no, this isn't the only way you can use it. This is just the way that I like to do it, which is adding it into damp hair and then blow drying. It's super quick, super easy. You can also stack it on top of your preferred pre-styler if you like. So it's just a very efficient way to use this awesome product. And when I do that, this is the result that I get. Just so soft, soft, and more soft hair. And honestly, if my hair wasn't this soft, this would be a complete just botch of this product. I'd probably throw it in the trash, honestly, because the old 25 spray made my hair feel incredible. And if the new formulated version didn't do that, it just really wouldn't be worth it for me. So I was really excited to see that Flagship did a fantastic job here on the reformulation. It's so soft. It feels nice and lightweight, totally set up for styling. And this is definitely one of those times I wish there was a way I could just share with you what I'm feeling here because you would then see what I see and what I see here is something that is just as good as the old formula. Now, like I said a second ago, there are other ways that you can use this product. You don't have to do it exactly the way that I did. You can put it in dry hair if you like. You can use it as a leave-in conditioner. You can use it as a hair mask. I mean, this stuff is so useful in so many scenarios. And from what I'm seeing here, it all checks out. 
as far as the reformulation goes versus the old one. It is a bit different in regards to the application, of course. You know, that that might be the only thing that I think might stand out to some people is that little jetting action going on there. But the end result is really what I'm focused on, and it's just as good, if not better, than the prior version. I mean, it does not make my hair greasy. It doesn't impact pre-styling if you choose to stack it with one, I mean. And I think in the end, for some of you, it really may seem like, besides the scent, it hasn't really changed at all from the old version, which I imagine was the goal here because again 25 spray was a very well loved product so I think it would have been pretty bad to mess it up you know and make it not work as well as the old one but in my opinion I think flagship pulled this off incredibly well so that is my thoughts on the revamped 25 spray I think it works really well I really don't see anything besides that slight jetting that would stand out to me as major differences or anything that might be problematic the performance is solid the effect on the hair is great so I am very happy with what they've done here as usual though the final verdict is up to you and if you'd like to check this out for yourself, a link will be in the description down below. That's all I got for this one. I hope you enjoyed checking out this product with me. If you did, make sure you do the big three for me. Like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, take it easy. I'll see you next time.